everyone, welcome back to Trash Tower, where there is junk everywhere and all of our sims are sick. Okay, it might not be uh, junk everywhere, but it's looking pretty shabby. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that to make room for um, the electronics that we're allowed to buy now uh, that Booker has unlocked science and lights. I'm going to go ahead and uh, neaten this up a bit and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Ta-da! A slightly less trashy tower. Um, what I did is enclose that except for the telescope portion and then just made it into a little attic area. I also um, put proper like sauna wood and sauna floors uh, in the sauna. And yeah, they still have access to the massage table, the sauna, the car. I don't know. Whatever they want to do. Now, this is as far as I got there. Let's see. Now on this floor, uh, same thing. We're going to put in some lights and uh, I'll bring you right back. And here I just took out the computer um, and put that in Casey's inventory and then added some lights. Um, the lights are kind of slim pickings. And again, we're still concerned about floor space. So I can't really do like table lamps or floor lamps. Uh, so it is what it is. And now... And then we have uh, Lena's and Ambrose's room. And here we just sold the aspiration rewards and put in a couple more wall lamps. And down here, I don't even know what we're going to do. I think first things first, we need to uh, sort out the family. Now the other day, Lena um, was the first to catch the flu and it's highly contagious so for those who don't have it yet i imagine that all of them soon will and i went ahead and uh, looked up what is involved with uh, the illnesses in sims 2. now your sims can die from this um but that would be you'd have to be deliberately try <laughs> uh, to kill them pretty much any sim that um is sleeping uh, recovers eight I don't know sickness points any sim that is sitting recovers six any sim that is has a energy and comfort rating higher than 50 um, recovers four if your energy and comfort rating is below 50 um, your health deteriorates so you would have to uh, deliberately try and and have your sims health deteriorate but we're going to do everything that we can to uh to get these sims uh health points so we can uh be done with the flu when they cough i think they lose comfort and i think i'm not sure what the other uh effect is that they're they're losing but their needs go down um when they show symptoms of this so we want to sort all of that out now, and Andrea, first up, she can go to bed. So uh, whenever a Sim can sleep, we want them to sleep. So she's there. Um, Booker? Uh, Booker can sleep as well. So run here and go to sleep. I think I was going to have him sit down, but there's that. Uh, Casey. Casey just got home from work. Who's in the, Who's in Casey's bed? Winnie? Oh, she's still tired. Is Flora? Okay, Casey can sleep in... Casey can run here, use the bathroom, take a shower, and sleep in the bed. Uh... Lena, who started the plague, uh, can use the bathroom and finish cooking these hot dogs. Who else is left? Ambrose. Ambrose is in good shape. Ambrose. 
uh, read a book. I don't know, you look like you might like a nice mystery. Who else do we have left? Oh wait, no. Marissa, you gotta go. Let's see. Uh, ask to leave everybody. And then you can uh, read a book. So he is sitting down. Uh, I think we have all the beds full. So you can nap here. Flora is in good shape. And with Flora, we are just going to have her come and meditate in front of the Jumbok. Oh, what is it? It's Tuesday. You know what? I forgot. Answer that. We need to have Ambrose uh, call his friends. So, is Andrea available to talk? Yes. Flora, come over here just a little bit. Go here. And now I want Flora to meditate. Now this is going to um, freeze her needs. You're going to be in the way, so Andrea is not going to be able to get out of that chair. Go here. You always got to make things difficult. Yeah, see? She can't get out. Oh, you know what? Take a shower. And you come nap as well. Run here and nap. So where are we at now? We're trying to move Flora out of the way so Andrea can get up out of that chair. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Andrea, answer the phone. Oh, see, look. Do you see how her needs were absolutely fine and now all of a sudden her um, bladder has dropped? That is because of the flu. Casey, didn't I send you to bed? Everybody's breaking the law. <laughs> Casey, run here. Use the bathroom and go to sleep. Do all that for me. And let's see, Ambrose, turn that off. Put away leftovers as single plates. And I think you can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to finish getting all of our sims situated, and then I'll bring you back. <laughs> I was uh, looking through to see uh, where all the sims were, and I see Flora mopping up this puddle. And I thought maybe somebody uh, had an accident, but that didn't appear to be the case. Uh, but everyone has a nice little, uh, nice little memories. Here's one I never saw before. Lena has a big bonus memory, which is pretty cool. And the same with uh, Booker. Uh, so that was neat. Oh, and here we go. Uh, Flora is sick with the flu, Booker is sick with the flu, and Casey is sick with the flu. So uh, yeah, everybody is sick. Uh, Flora, they're resisting. <laughs> They're resisting my instructions. Um, Flora, run here. Now we want Flora to meditate. Um, one, it'll keep her energy and comfort above 50. 
um, so she'll get better. Um, but two, it's going to keep her her um, motives um, high for tomorrow morning because we really want her to get a, a promotion. And the same thing with Casey. As soon as Casey um, tops up her needs by sleeping, we're going to have Casey come down here and meditate as well. Now, Lena was sick with the flu. I wonder if she can sleep yet. Uh, no, she can't. But what skills does she need to uh, study? This is fascinating stuff, right? <laughs> uh, study, study mechanical, Lena. So she's sitting down. So again, she'll get redder, better. Now, uh, Ambrose, I think Ambrose is sick too. I'm not sure. Uh, but I want him to, uh, to renew his friendships. So that's what we have him doing. And especially with um, this girl, Marsha. Marsha might be joining the family. Okay, and everyone is uh, up here sleeping? With their nice new lights? And here's our little attic space. Who are you hurting over? Okay, so I think the family is uh, is pretty set. The kids still need to do their homework. When they wake up, we'll have them come down here and do that. And uh, everyone else is looking pretty good. I think. And then by the time um, Ambrose gets done with the phone, uh, we'll send Ambrose and Lena to bed. All of the kids who have uh, looking for promotions, we'll send them down here to meditate in front of the jumbuck. And that is going to be all for now. It is... <laughs> so it's coughing. It's, um... Oh, Booker needs to go to work. Well, you're in good shape. Go ahead. Have a nice night at work. He has real funky hours. Uh, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. For Booker, who is our mad scientist, let's see his, uh, his career outfit. What's he going to go to work in? You could be a little neater. What kind? <laughs> what if it's not his hands? He has like a metal hand <laughs> and like a rubber glove. Well, you are a mad scientist. Okay, there's not really much uh, going on. Right now, I just want to get everybody um, well so we don't keep having the flu. Um, but other than that, we have um, Flora who is in the military career super low i think this is like level i want to say like level two two or three um casey is doing amazing uh she's level eight now and that reminds me we have by stereo at least two thousand by stereo at least twenty seven hundred uh eighteen hundred by a dj booth now the dj booth um, builds something. Builds creativity, and we're not allowed to to have any creative um, items, so we can't buy that. Uh, but we can buy this three thousand simoleon stereo, which is what we're gonna do. Now, I think who else? I think all of the kids have uh, stereo wants, or maybe it's Andrea. No, I don't want a TV. Now he has um, stereo wants too, so this is gonna do 
and stereo wants. Okay, so we're definitely going to buy a, a two tile uh, stereo here. Let's get up to what? To our attic. And there we go. Here's another two tile object that can't be moved. Um, we're getting quite the collection, uh, but it's worth it because. Everybody should be getting a ton of wants. Buy a computer worth at least 2,000 simoleons. We can do that now. Buy a computer at 2,000? Buy a computer 2,000. Okay, so uh, yeah, with that one little stereo, we... Uh, We took care of a whole bunch of happiness for our sims here. So uh, that is good. Very nice. She got 4,500 aspiration and that wasn't enough to, uh, to, to put her in platinum. That's pretty bad. It was a huge chunk of uh, aspiration points. Now Casey looks pretty good here. We are going to uh, we are going to wake Casey up. Have her uh, grab some leftovers, and then we're going to have her meditate as well. And she'll be uh, she'll be ready to go for a promotion tomorrow morning. And here you are going to see, for the very first time, somebody in the Dagny family sitting at a table and eating. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Decker, chase off Hazel. Um, and Decker, we have Flora meditating, uh, Casey is meditating, and we are going to have uh, Decker get something to eat and then he is going to be meditating as well. I don't know if um, I don't know if we'll if I want to um, right before they go off to work. I'm probably going to buy that computer that they want uh, to get them and keep them platinum, uh, so they at least get a promotion today. But but if we can't have them platinum, I think having their needs as high as possible also helps get a promotion. Now let's see what's going on with Winnie. We don't want her standing up talking to that bird. And he is still tired, so he's going to go right back to bed. Um, we're going to have Winnie do uh, Wally's homework for him. And then we'll send Wally back to bed as soon as he's done eating. Uh, yeah. And here is the first healthy person. Flora is healthy again. And Booker just got home. So we're going to have him, um, do what? We're going to have him study something. So he's sitting down because he's not tired. And hopefully he'll be better soon as well. So he's going to use the bathroom and then study a uh, mechanical. And the whole family is comfortable, well rested, and sitting down or sleeping. Um, so I expect that they will all hopefully get better in short order. The only thing I'm worried about is because it, the flu is very contagious and I can't really separate these people, I'm hoping they don't like reinfect each other. But we will see what happens. There we go, and Booker is healthy again as well. So that's two. And now Casey is healthy, so that is pretty good. That's Booker and Casey both now. Okay, it is Wednesday morning, and 
the kids are off to work, starting with Flora, who is going to work as a drill instructor. Um, her needs are as, val as green as they could possibly get, so I'm going to hope that she gets a promotion. We could guarantee a pr promotion by buying this uh, 2000 Smolian computer, but I'm really saving that for Casey because she's so high up in her uh, career. Uh, that might come in handy for us. What is she doing? What? Why are you reading? Come to work. Why can't she go to work? Uh, can you tell I'm concerned? Why can't she get out of the tower? Is this blocking her way? Go to work. Now, I thought I had those um, set as intersectable. I'm going to have to take a look at my, uh, at my CC set. That should not have happened. There we go. It was a close call, but Flora is off to work. Let's hope uh, she does good. Let's see what her job performance is going to be. I mean, it's possible she could get a promotion. Let's see. Andrea has the day off school. I was hoping that everybody would be well, but I guess that's not what is going on. Yeah, then uh, Decker is up next. Decker is a, a high school teacher. I think that's level five, so he's getting there. Oh, and I guess, uh, I guess they found the... That's fine, I don't mind that. Do your thing. Cute. And the kids are off to school. They both have wants to get an A-plus report card. So they are going to be in platinum uh, this afternoon. Which will be pretty amazing because um, it's going to be time for them to grow up. Oh, do you know what we'll do real quick? Hold that thought. And I just rolled for the kids' wants and I got a 1 and 4. So it looks like Wally is going to be another fortune sim. And Winnie is going to be romance, which is our first romance sim. Um, until Booker tops the, tops the education career, we have to roll for the aspirations for the teens. Um, I'm hoping now Decker and Flora uh, were our well sims, and they absolutely... Who are... Uh, Who needs to go where? 9 a.m. Okay, so this is for... That's for Lena. It's for Lena and Casey. And Casey is platinum, so she's going to get a promotion today, which we are very happy for. And... 9 to 3. So he just missed so he that car was for that car was for <laughs> uh, Decker. He has to go he has to drive to work in the car. If he misses work if he misses work then uh, then he has to get fired. Okay. I wonder, I hope, it's going to be a shame if um, if Casey could get a double promotion today, but can't because we don't have the car here. Oh, and it looks like for the first time, Casey has an outfit. Check her out. I am so sorry, Casey, but, you know, living the dream. <laughs> Why, what is he not? <laughs> These 
Sims are like trying to get fired. First Flora and now Decker. Drive to work. Hurry up. There you go. And Ambrose, what about you? Okay, you don't go until this afternoon. <laughs> okay, everybody is off to work, uh, hopefully doing good things for us. And everyone makes mistakes, but don't make a habit out of this or, De or Decker will be in trouble. Does that mean that he's like not gonna get a promotion today? Yeah, look at his work performance. That really stinks. I'm so sorry, Decker. I wonder if we can, um, if we buy that computer, if it'll max out his uh, performance and get him a promotion. I'd rather save it for Casey, though. Okay, there you go, mistakes were made. Here is Kennedy Cox, he is frozen. We don't need to, um, we don't need to work on our relationship, but I'm gonna greet him just in case he'll come in and warm up. And I can hear somebody up in the attic with that car. <laughs> it's your day off, Andrea, you do what you want. That is absolutely all right by me. And Ambrose will be flying off to work any moment now. I can't believe Decker and Flora almost uh, missed the missed their work. I think I think we really need to work on um, consider unlocking Slacker. That way we can skip chance cards, and if someone misses a day of work, like it's no big deal. There we go. Oh, see you later, Ambrose. Look at this, everybody is gone. Who's home? Booker and Andrea. Do you know what? They have a woohoo want. Let's um let's take care of that for them. Come relax. Come relax, you're obviously bored. Well they have the house to themselves. And the only person here is I thought we greeted Kennedy, but we just want him to uh to warm up. Every single visitor to the house lets that bird out. Where are you at? Oh, you stupid. She blocked herself with that car. <laughs> <laughs> you could have died up there, Andrea. And what about Booker? Is Booker coming? Okay. Let's speed this up. Try and do something nice for you guys. And, uh, kiss, cuddle, woohoo. Notice there's no trolley for baby option because the house is full. And uh, and while they're doing their thing, we'll come down here with uh, Kennedy Cox, who needs to warm up and leave. And another chance card, but this time we know we know the answer. Uh, Spirit Day. We always dress for Spirit Day. Or is this the right answer? They didn't get fired. I know that. Oh, Decker's been promoted. Oh, how amazing is this? I thought he wasn't going to get a promotion at all because he was late for work. That is so good. So Decker got promoted. And Flora just got promoted. Oh, that is really good. So much good stuff happening here. And Decker is now promoted. Can Decker go back to work? 11 to 5. Decker could go back to work. What are his needs? And what about Flora? 1 o'clock. Flora can't. 
two promotions. Kids are doing good. Let's um we're going to send We are going to send him right back to work. Drive to work. Good job. And what time does he get done? Five o'clock? And what time does uh, does Casey get off? Five o'clock. So she got promoted and could go back to work. It would absolutely work out fine. How amazing is this? So happy. Flora, uh, we almost trapped Flora in the um, <laughs> in the house, and then we forgot to wake up uh, Decker. So uh, I am very pleased with today's work. Would you look at that? Uh, Flora has uh, two two bolts with Kennedy Cox. Let's um let's have them come in. More, call over. Let's uh maybe um maybe Flora can hook up with uh Kennedy Cox. Is he? What does he do? Is he the thief? Um, yeah, let's uh, talk, entertain, joke, admire, and let's see, uh, let's see what happens with Flora and Kennedy Cox. And maybe he'll warm up in the process. Look at that! I'm so happy. All of these kids are like living in a, like living in a bubble. They don't have any of their own friends. They don't have any, no first kisses, no nothing. Who else is here? Andrea. Oh, they're cuddling. Did they never woohoo? Woohoo. I set you up here to fulfill this uh, woohoo want. Why won't they woohoo? How weird is that? Well, at least there's that. We need to have Flora answer this. Well, actually, no, we don't. Keep doing what you're doing. It's a, like the house of romance this afternoon. Oh, I know. You're too shy for jokes, right? Here's the kids off from school, and they're platinum. Very nice. Isn't that hilarious? Winnie brought home a friend. Yeah, the last time, we want that girl to leave. Oh, what? They all want to be friends. To, they want to talk to her. No. <laughs> she wants to play with the dog. He wants to play with the little girl. I guess he can. Yeah, look how fast they're friends already. And now they want to play kicky bag. Oh, I'm very happy for for. What's wrong with this little boy? Oh, it's snowing. Uh, no, Lena is not available to talk. Where's Kennedy going? Where's our man going? I'm so happy. Where are you going though, Kennedy? Uh, do you know what? I think I'm gonna close 
Oh, I thought that was Kennedy Cox baking in the little oven. I guess this is like a party house. Maybe he'll go in the sauna and warm up. Brittany Parker is no longer a family friend. Yeah, nothing we can do about it. Do we have enough friends for promotions? Let's take a look. 16 still. That looks like enough. Oh, good. He's going to get warm. You know what? You guys need to let me know if uh, if you want to see this stuff. Now let's um let's have Flora. Don't read. Come here and um and join. Twenty seven, looking good. Okay, I'm going to well. Maybe something might be interested in the sa sauna. And Lena's home? What kind of interactions do they have? I guess they just talk? I thought you could woohoo, but I'm guessing that there, that's not an option because, uh... Ah... Uh, why is he walking like that? <laughs> Blur, get out. Your man is done. Oh, dear. Well, do it. Both of you in your bad out outfits, join. Keep, keep doing the Kennedy Cox thing. This might be the only man you meet. Oh, you know what? Let's ask him some, some stuff, like more. Ask, what's your job? More. Ask. Do you like what you see? Yeah, you're a smuggler. And Casey is a guild leader. Look at that. Casey, so good. And here comes uh, Decker as well. Let's see. And Decker is high school principal. And they're scout. Could this day get any better? Um, let's see. Can you go back to work? No, nine to four. Can you go back to work? Yes, you can. And you're gonna guarantee a promotion because you are platinum. How amazing is this? Oh, so good. Okay, we're going to send uh, Casey back off to work and, and she's gonna top the gamer career. A guild leader is level nine. Yay! Okay, this is good. So good. Decker? Oh, it's too late. We can't greet Scout. He's almost perfect. From uh, these kids almost missing work today and having to uh, leave their careers to... Uh, what did she do? Why do you guys keep doing this to me? No, I want you, you can, you can use the bathroom at work. Go to work. Very nice. Lena has a baby once again. The whole house is uh, just about platinum, except for Flora and Andrea. Promotions everywhere. So good. I'm going to get these uh, kids situated so they're able to do their homework. Oh, I think the kids are going to grow up today, too. So much is going on in this episode. Poor Flora, we were so close to being friends with uh, Kennedy Cox, but all of a sudden he just decided to leave. So uh, there is that. And now we have uh, Wally and Winnie can grow up to teenagers. So
so uh, I guess we'll have them do that, right? Let's see, who's first? Wally. Wally is going to be a fortune sim. I'm hoping that he's going to have a better time of it than Flora and and Decker. Uh, those are the two that went into aspiration failure. Uh, but let's stop that. I guess we'll let him uh, get his fun up a little bit. And then it's time to grow up, kid. Bye, Kennedy. Okay. Grow up with no fanfare. Wait. Run here. Let's get a look at this sim. He's a, he's a lot nicer than he used to be. Grow up and do good things. Oh, you know what? Before you grow up, what color does, what color hair does Marsha have? Brown. Okay. <laughs> you may grow up again. Here comes mom. you are lucky we're lucky very nice very handsome and don't we have to pick their aspirations you'd think that I never did this before what is wrong with him he's shaking um he has to be a fortune I wish you luck I wish you much more success than <laughs> uh, than your brother and sister had Okay, Marsha has brown hair, and uh, let's just give her logic, because I don't know. And everybody's turns off just, ugh, are the same. Nobody likes zombies. And, uh, yeah. Good job, Wally. Now, does he have a lifetime want? If he does, I can't see it. And, uh, Winnie, where are you going? Get back here. Oh, nope, no catch. Run here. Go here. There we go. And now your turn. Grow up. Be pretty. <laughs> Our little first little romance sim. I don't. Why are you starving? Stuff face. What, what is going on? Get leftovers. Get leftovers. <laughs> Grow up. And don't kill your father. That is a... Wally gets a scholarship? Mm. Can we see her? Oh, she's pretty. They both turned out good. What are we going to do for her? Now, she's a romance sim. I think we're just going to give her two hair colors. Black and brown. To give her the best chance uh, of finding somebody that she might like. And zombies. Oh, and she's romance. Oh, it, she 
our little uh, romance sim in the little pink outfit. Okay, let's uh let's make sure Booker doesn't die. Who else is uh, in a bad way? And Andrea is too. I think it's because they were stuck on that bed for all those time. She wants a grandchild. Should we lock that? I don't know. We'll see. So there you go. Winnie and Wally both turned out uh, pretty well. You would think that I never played this game because I still don't know... Uh, he wants to become a space pirate. That's the third space pirate in the family. Major heartthrob. Let's uh, let this play on and see if we can't find out what she wants to do. Actually, you know what? Winnie needs to, uh... Winnie needs to go to sleep. You know what? Wally can, uh, Wally can go to sleep, too. And Flora can go to sleep. And Decker can go to sleep. And Lena can go to sleep. And who's the other hungry sim? You're hungry. And you... And get leftovers. There you go, the whole family situated. And still no, uh, space pirate, major heartthrob. And Booker has to go to work again. And here we go. There we are. Congratulations, Casey has just fulfilled a lifetime want. As a reward, Casey will have platinum aspiration for the rest of her life. And she unlocked the gamer reward for us. That is amazing. So we had a... Uh, an absolutely jam-packed uh, episode today. Where is she at? Oh, she already got out of the car. I didn't even see her. Oh, wait, this this must be for... Um... Oh, see? She pulled up in the car. I thought she was here in the limo. Okay, there goes uh, Booker as a, as a mad scientist. Um, we're gonna have him use the computer to see if we can't get him into his uh, lifetime walk. But here is Casey, the amazing Casey, who uh, unlocked Gamer for us. Very happy about that. And on that note, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll come back for the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>